let's start let's start with this uh let's start with my favorite scarcity okay what what do we mean by scarce how do we use scarcity in 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 influencing people how can we use that to get people to yes what's our how do we react to scarcity anybody here ever go to the store for because an advertised special and they and they were given out rain checks how do we react when something is sold out when something is very limited availability we wanted more we saw the same thing with the uh the housing shortage you know, people were paying more for these houses and fighting over them. And, you know, we call it the uh, feeding frenzy. Yeah. So if you're, um, you're selling a piece of real estate and you want to move it and you want to build up your database and someone calls you up and they say, and they're acting like a big shot. Well, I'm just calling up. I saw your thing about that, that, not, that rent to own condo, that wholesale deal, uh, Brent. And uh, I'm just curious, you scarcity. Let me see you use scarcity. Oh, for a condo? Yeah, make up. You just, it's role play. Make up whatever you want, but use scarcity uh, on me. Um, yeah. Or ask for a really good chunk of land for Brent. You know, yeah, yeah. Guy. Good chunk of land. You're the land uh, shark. That's good. Yeah, I, I've been using it because I have uh, a, a sign that I had that I'm getting a massive amount of calls on. I said, man, that one actually just sold, which is true. Um, it just sold, but I actually have, two left and these are actually larger parcels would you would you be interested in just maybe driving a little further for him well That's i want to you know well, i'll get around to it now i'm busy this week and maybe i'll get out there next weekend with my wife and the chihuahuas and and everything and i'll take oh, hold on claude i got another call coming in it's probably about this land again um i've got a couple seconds uh listen uh, has there been anything else that you ever tried to buy and you waited a week and it was gone oh all the time man do you want to go ahead and wait on this one too, or or should I or should I give you the information, or should we just hang up now? Okay, now go to my hit my greed button right now, Claude. Why are you even interested in land? That's it. You're not looking for to help your kids go through college or money for retirement or or to make that extra couple hundred thousand. You're not looking for that, right? Hey, Claude, I mean, I, why would you even be calling off of this piece of land? Why wouldn't you just buy a house that's already built? Or are you seeing all the land disappear around you and you're just looking for a little bit more? I mean, what, are you thinking about your children maybe 30 years from now? Like, what's what's the reason why you're calling me today on my handwritten uh, land for sale sign? Well, my my brother-in-law who runs the French fry machine at, at Chuck E. Cheese. Um, he bought a piece of land five years ago and he's retired now. That land went up to, he bought it for $40,000. It's worth over a half a million now. Claude. Well, I'll tell you, I've got a brother-in-law. Doesn't it piss you off when he comes to the dinner table and he offers to buy everyone <laughs> at the table drinks and everything's on me? Doesn't that piss you off just because he made a little bit of money on that land deal? Oh, it drives me crazy because the guy never, he did, the guy works the French fry machine at a Chuck E. Cheese pizza palace, for God's sakes. And Imagine the price of inaction. inaction. Oh, hold on. I got another call coming. Imagine the price of inaction what is that what that's going to cost you okay so off the role play that was a great role play thank you brent oh that was you can give them a round that was a good one. <laughs> that was awesome that was great that was a good one so when we when we tell people that's something they can't have okay or when and brent used also another psychological sales trigger he used social proof what is and that's right over what it what is social proof Anybody ever hear that? Okay. Um, it's like monkey see, monkey do. You know, why do we like, do we, well, social proof, isn't it basically when somebody else is doing something or buying something and we hear a lot about it in the media and everything like that? What's, what's the effect, emotional effect on us when we see something is very popular with everyone else and we don't have it? What happens? What yeah, happens? On board, FOMO, fear of missing out. Fear of missing out, peer pressure, here, right here, peer pressure, herd mentality, materialism, uh, materialism envy, keeping up with the Joneses, monkey see, monkey do, I have that over here, I should have it on the other side, okay, How so when you go to somebody, you're, you're talking to them, 
I am so sorry. I am getting so many phone calls on this property. I have so many appointments today. I don't really think I can see. I don't think I can spend a lot of time with you to, uh, today, Wade. I'm really sorry. On a one through 10, how important is this for you, Wade? Maybe I can jumble my schedule around a little bit. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, wow, yeah, I didn't realize you're so busy. Um, I am, I'm so sorry. Why do you think we're so busy with this with this um, uh, piece of land? Yeah, I mean, I, I know it's a real hot area. We've we've been looking, yeah. trying to get something around there too. Yeah, it is it is it is smoking hot. It is amazing. Uh, so many people are caught. Somebody has their uh, video audio on in the background. Thank you. Um, it is. I mean, let me let me ask you something. Um, if I can change my schedule around. And and I can give you 15 minutes on this property. Um, can we talk? Uh, are you serious? On a one through 10, where, 10 meaning this is urgent, uh, one meaning you couldn't get. Where do you see yourself if I could change my schedule around a little bit? Oh, yeah. I mean, we're, we're an eight. I think we're an eight for sure. What would you need for me to get you to a 10 today? No, I just want to get a little bit more info about the, the lot, right? And what the restrictions are. That's all. Okay. And if I could give you that information that meets with your budget and your needs and your future investment philosophy, you wouldn't be able to make a commitment today, right? Um, yeah, you know, I think I could do that. You think? Yeah, I could, I could, I could do that. I could do oh, that. You're yes. Let me change. Let me make a, let me just text my secretary. Let me make a few uh, changes and I'll meet you in five minutes on zoom. Okay, great. Thank you. Boom. So that's the combination of scarcity and social proof. Okay, these two together are very, very dangerous. Now, let's take something else. How about an authority figure? This is very important. Um, how do you, without bullying somebody or sounding like a braggart or anything, what, what do we mean by being an authority? How important is it to be an authority? figure when you're speaking to someone to sound like you know what you're talking about to sound confident and to even sound look if you don't want to if you want to say no don't worry about it i am so busy so many people calling we only have this one property um it's amazing uh i have never seen in all my years of, of real estate i have never seen a uh, this a, such a beautiful property with such opportunity what's an authority figure what what do we mean by that let's break that down what does that sound like? What's an authority figure? When you die, when well, you're, you die you're, you're talking from a place of uh, experience, right? And you're, you're experience. sharing many, all your wisdom. Right, right. How many people here went to my university? Fake it until you make it you. Okay. Do people want somebody that sounds depressed or... Oh, I know what you mean. I oh yeah, I lost my. I'm still living. My mom still buys my clothes, you know, and I'm 42 years old. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait. I, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Does anyone want to talk to a sad sack? Does anyone want to talk? Well, I don't. You know, I don't know if this operation is going to work, uh, Mrs. Smith. I, I've never done this. Be I've only done it once or twice. It's uh, it's. Uh, oof, I don't know. Do people want certainty, assurance? What's the biggest turn on to people? They love it. Confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Not to mislead or any, but do you influence people when you speak? You know what? I made the same mistakes you did years ago, but I found a solution for it. You wouldn't want to hear, you wouldn't want a few ideas or solutions I could give you for free right now. You couldn't meet me on Zoom for 15 minutes. So we could talk about a few ideas to fix that problem. It'll it's all free. You wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to do that, would you, Brent? That's authority. You you gotta use it. What happens when the prospect does the prospect? We've talked about this before. Does the prospect have a default system? What does the prospect do when they get us on the phone? What do they want to do? They want information, right? What else? Without giving you a commitment. Yes, they don't want to make a commitment. They want to, what, and what's the trick they use, Chris, to, to not make, what are those words they use all the uh, time? 
I need to think about it or talk it over with my spouse. You know, they, they this, want the milk, but they don't want to buy the cow. Yeah, yeah. You know, cheap bastards. <laughs> You know, I'm going to claw it. I'm going to give this my highest uh, concentration and review. And I'm sure we're going to do business in the near distant future. I mean, this just sounds great. And you, thank you for being on the phone with me for one hour. Okay. Who's, who's persuading, influencing, manipulating who if we don't take control and use a system? Who's in control? The prospect. All day long. Brent, I, I kind of skipped over. You said you were on the phone with one person. And I, I appreciate you sharing that because we have all done that. You were on the prospect, you were on the phone with one person for 60 minutes, you said, right? Yeah, he ended up buying. He did pay like he promised, but I was just like, I kept looking at my watch like this son of a bitch better buy. <laughs> but on the other hand, I was like, and he kept and he had just had literally got rid of cancer with his throat. This guy loved to talk so much. He was like bleeding. He said, I'm, I'm bleeding now. I've got to hang up. And I'm just like, what the heck? But he still bought, but he had to get all that out. And I was thinking to myself, I wonder what Claude would, would have done on this situation. Do you want me to, um, wait a second. Let me give you, let me give myself a shot of sodium pentothal and have a little drink here. <laughs> You do, you do want the truth. Before I go. <laughs> Sometimes, you you know, we all talk about qualifying up front, getting baby step commitments. And that's in the mind map, by the way, consistency. Sometimes you got to go by instinct. Truth be told. Okay, you got to go. You got to go by your. How many people here go by gut? And anybody ever meet somebody they instantly dislike? Yeah, all the yeah. time. Yeah, you're just like, you know, man, I would never let that person babysit my children, you know, or you just, did you ever, anybody ever meet somebody or a situation? Do you ever get a chill that, you know, about something or about a time or a date or a place or a person and you go by, it's it's the sixth sense. Who did that movie? Um, the guy, the diehard guy, what was the, um, the movie, The Sixth Sense? Bruce Willis. Who? Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Yeah. Willis. Great yeah. movie. Do, you yeah, think we, do we have a sixth sense sometimes about stuff? Mm -hmm. I go running, I go running in the woods in the mountains here. Sometimes it's really deep woods and everything. And I every now and then I get a little chill in the back of my neck. And I know there's a I know, and this is I I know there's a bear or a mountain lion or there's something out there. And I'm I, all of a sudden, my senses are like smelling everything, listening. I take my ear AirPods out, everything. I just and I just become acutely aware. Do you think that's? Do you think we have that ability, that sense? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And in sales, sometimes um, we we need to do that. So uh, to answer your question, uh, you go with the, you go with the flow. You can qualify. You can use a little redirection. You use your stroking and nurturing, and then you go basic. And then sometimes you just got to put in the time. And, but you don't want to do this all the time and just give a lot of free information. All the thing. So you know what? Let me ask you something, sir. Uh, Mr. Bowers, if you found that solution to your needs, to your problem, to buy, to sell, to invest, you found something that met with your budget on a timely basis. That That's not, listen to my words carefully, that's not something you would take an action on today, would you, if you found that that solution, that property, mm -hmm. that person, you wouldn't take an action today, would you? Yeah. Yeah, of course I would. Boom. What did I just get? A commitment. It's called a commitment. And that's also in Cialdini's thing. How, and did you guys notice I used my little guts trick there, redirection. When we want to know, we go positive. When we want to when we want to go positive, we go negative. We go in the opposite direction. How important is it to get consistency? Get them up the yes ladder. It's so big. Yeah. It's so big. So if you found, let me ask you something. You don't want to, you wouldn't want to, this isn't something you want to do today, is it, sir, ma'am? Jessica, if I could find a, if I could find a way to solve this uh, uh, problem for you. Uh, you don't want to do this right now. You want to do this six months, a year from now, don't you? I want to do it right now. 
I'm ready to sign. Why, why so urgent? I'm just curious. Why, why you know, I mean, because there's so many other salespeople and, and, and lawyers and doctors and realtors out there. You must have found one that could solve this problem for you, right? No, I, I just I just like you. I just feel connection. And I, you're a get it done kind of guy. And, and I'm ready. And when the right opportunity came up, I'm just, I'm just ready to ready to rock and roll. That is, you know, you yeah. just made, you just made my day. Thank you for saying that. You know, I, I feel the same way. That was so nice of you to say that, by the way. Thank you. I haven't had the best. You just made my day. You're wonderful. Thank you. Let's let's make another million together. Right what, is now. That, what is that call that Cialdini calls that? liking or likability what happened what did jessica just do to me and how did i respond stroke and nurture stroke nurture empathy but you got to sound sincere you got to put passion into it you've got to put excellent acting skills thespian skills into it what happens when we get somebody we know they're just schmoozing us new york city word we just, we know they're just saying things to us to make the sale and we know it. Does that turn us off In, instantly, right? When we find, when someone is sincere and, 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 and we really believe what they're saying about us, it's a compliment, it's a stroke, it's something that made us emotionally involved. It's they under empathy, they know how we feel and we believe them. Do you think we get closer to that person? how power how powerful is that do you think when we get somebody to like us and we nurture them and stroke them do you think we get the big t what happens what happens when we have trust in a business relationship how huge is that please someone tell me how you just flow nice and easy and just comes together because you've got a level of trust you you don't have to be second guessing everything why do you guys think all the time the psychology of guts listen it's okay to say no to me don't worry i've got so many phone calls so many people are interested in my program in my land in my house in my notes and everything so if you don't feel like you have to do it do what's right for yourself Lou Quinnell. okay Lou, is, oh, is it all right? Are you comfortable, Lou? I don't want you to feel any pressure. I'm here for you, buddy. Should we move forward or should we say it's over, Mr. Quinnell? Uh, you know, we can move forward. You sure? You're not going to call me tomorrow and say, Claude, my wife's mad at me. My dogs won't sit on my lap anymore. I shouldn't have, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, you, you're on, on, a, on a scale from one to 10. You 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 strike me old school. You're a man of your word, aren't you? When you make a commitment, that's like I can cash that check in any bank, right? Yes, sir, you can. I knew that about you. What? Why did I feel that way about you? Why are you such a straight? You're, I don't meet a lot of guys like you. Thank you. I don't know. I just uh, I, I exude trust and accountability. You must have had <laughs> great, you must have had great parents, man. Because I you know. I can really tell that about a person. You might, you're probably a great father too. There, boom. Is this guy is this guy going to call me tomorrow with a box of boohoo tissues? Oh, Claude, I know I said. Is this guy? Is it going to? It's it possible? Yes. Is it likely? Yeah. Ain't going to happen. These are all moves. What? Okay, one minute before we go. What did we learn today about in about influence, psychology of persuasion? There's many different ways to do that. By the way, conditioning too. Anybody ever hear of Pavlov, the guy who rang the bell? Can we condition someone to keep saying yes? Yes. Yeah. We you can. Don't forget about that voice, the guts voicemail. You, oh. kept, you kept me hanging for the whole hour. Oh, I'm you sorry. <laughs> that will be to be continued next week. No, I won't do that. I won't do that. What is a guts voicemail? What's the usual voicemail that most people leave? Hey, this is Brent. Call me back, please, please. 863-801-6959. Okay. And what's the and what's the results? We all get those voicemails, right? I hate leaving them. I feel like I'm wasting my time. We delete, we delete. We don't know. It's a telemarketer, it's some stranger or whatever. If what's the what's the psychology about leaving a voicemail to get a response? How do we want to? We want to shake, we want to like shake things up. We want to get their attention immediately. 
Yeah. So give me somebody give me a beep. I gotta have the beep. I'm sorry. Beep. beep. Hey, a uh, brand Jessica Guillermo. Oh my God. I got the paperwork in front of me here. You will not believe what happened. And I need the spelling of your name so I can send the funds right away. Could you call me before 2 30? That's how I'm, I mean, 619-206-5960. I, this is great. You will love what I got to tell what share with you. Bye-bye. Hmm. Put some passion into it. If you say I have the paperwork in front of me, hmm. is that a lie? Do we all? I've got all kinds of paperwork. I got post its, I got little notebooks. Okay. If I want to ask, you've got to create, and they call even on a cold call and they get a message like that. What do you, what do you think the reaction is going to be? The psychological reaction. When you act like you know them, you act like it's urgent that you set a time frame and they don't even know who you are and you leave that message. What do you think is going to go through their head? Who the? Yeah, call this back. I gotta call this lunatic and find out what's going on. Exactly. What, what, what did my wife just do? Did my wife sell my house? No. <laughs> what is that straw? What is that emotion that we're talking about? Curiosity, right? Did I forget somebody? Did I forget when did I talk to this person? Who is this? I oh, this sounds important. I better. And they call you back. Who wins when the prospect calls you back? Everyone. We win. Yes. Oh, we win. And then we fix it. Somebody call me back. They got the message and go ahead. Somebody call me back. Hello, this is Claude. How can I help you? You said you have something with my name on it. Well, who sorry, is this? I, you know, I don't. What's my three favorite words? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, sir, I don't know your name. I'm Brent. Oh, hi, Brent. This is you Claude. Me. You don't remember. Brent, I'm so, so Brent. I don't remember what color underwear I'm wearing. Uh, Brent, I apologize. What was this about? This wasn't about real estate, was it? Land or something? Oh yeah, yeah. I saw you on a a, a podcast a couple months ago, and I filled this thing out. Um, I, I'm not. I don't know if I'm really interested anymore, though. You, you're probably not. Don't worry about it. You don't want to buy or sell. You don't want to buy or invest land that can double your money over the next five to seven years, though. Is that? I mean, that's probably. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have I'm much taking... money, but I'd like to double it or triple it. I probably need to quadruple it, the amount I have. Imagine, so for a, imagine for a moment you had a good piece of land in a developing suburban area where a college is going to be built or a new shopping mall. That, that isn't what you're looking for, right? Yeah, I'd love that. Okay. And you wouldn't have the budget, you know, ten, twenty, fifty thousand dollars You couldn't share that with me if you found that opportunity, right? My wife's in charge of the budget. You're a smart man. You're a smart man. <laughs> You know, boom. I don't care what he says. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to work off his words. Am I in a conversation with a guy right now? Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. Guess what happens when you get into a cup? Cold calls, warm calls, follow up calls. What happens every day you have a conversation with somebody, even if they say no, they don't have money, whatever, whatever they say. What what just happened to the math? Whose favor is it in? Yours. Yours. So when you leave a voicemail, leave a voice. Can you help me? I don't know why. I, I got your phone number here in front of me here. It's on my little thing. And I, I'm sure this is important. Could you call me before 3.30 so we could take care of this problem? Thank you very much. 619 Whatever you say, don't leave, don't leave a message that sounds like that old jar of yogurt with the green mold in the back of your refrigerator, okay? Make it, put some passion in it. Jessica, do you have a jar of yogurt like that in the back of your fridge? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Good, for you. Good for you. So put some passion into it, create some curiosity. The, and you can always say, I don't know. I'm sorry. I forgot. Can you help me out? This isn't about life insurance, real estate, coaching, buying in land, investing in land, is it? Help them out a little bit. Mm -hmm. And once you get into a conversation, all the opportunities are presented to you on that table. Did we did we have fun today? Mm -hmm. Hey, give everybody, give me a thumbs up, okay? You guys did great today. Thanks. Have a good week. Stay safe. Enjoy the summer. Stay cool. And um, who's got, let's see, who's is anyone doing the Wednesday call? Is that Brandon or Justin? I saw Justin on here before. 
Um, I'm it's pretty the sure. fourth Wednesday, so there's there's no uh, there's no role play this week. Okay, Justin, I'll give you the last word. One of the smartest men in the state, <laughs> right down there. I I don't that's I don't know. Hey, have a great week, everybody. Make money today. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Let's go out. Let me find a little music here. Oh, let's see. What do we got? Let's work for the weekend, even though it's for Monday. There you go. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. Thank you. Kyle. I love this song.